Hello and welcome back to Dungeons and Dragons, Planescape, Torment, the Enhanced Edition. When we last left off, well, we talked to the wife of Anger, who is concerned that her husband might have sold his um, post-life to the Dustman. And considering the number of um, zombies we saw there, probably not a... Uh, not a uh, bet that um, you would want to go for. See so yeah, a haggard woman dra wrapped in rags, hair is disheveled and dirty in her complexion in a stream of dark. Burns cover her arms and her right hand is a fused lumped up flesh. It looks melted like a wax exposed to great heat. Uh, greetings. My journal. What is it what you or what is it you want me? Woman's accent, it's thick and having difficult making out what she's saying. You want me to leave? Not leave in the city? No, I'm not. I can't. I try. It's not a city. It's a prison to everywhere. Everywhere? There's worlds, there's plains that be sinking sands, fields, thirsty nettles be sightless worlds where your limbs are given life and hate, cities of dust whose people are dust and whisper ash and houses without doors. The twilit lands, the singing winds, the singing winds. She starts sobbing quietly, but seems all out of tears. And shadows, the terrible shadows there be. Where are these places? Where's, where's the places? She flings the lump uh, of her right hand in the air, or in an arc, gesturing at the city camp. They's all here. Doors, doors, doors here to everywhere. Doors. You... You not knowing this? You just wouldn't say your teeth start chattering. Tell you I will. Beware every space you walk in, uh, through, or touch in this thrice cursed city. Doors, gates, arches, windows, picture frames. The open mouth of a statue. The spaces between shelves. Beware any spaces bounded on all sides. All of these doors are to other places. Okay. Well, we kind of figured that out from earlier, but let's continue playing dumb. What do you mean? Every door has a key, it does, and with this key, it shows their true nature. An arch becomes a portal, a picture frame becomes a portal, a window becomes a portal, all eager to take you someplace else. They steals you away, she raised the lump of her right hand, and sometimes what's on the other side takes a part of you as a tithe. What are these keys? The keys, the keys number as many as the doors in the city. Every door a key, every key a door. Teeth start chattering again if she's cold. The key is... The key is anything. Maybe an emotion, an iron nail between your second and fifth fingers. A thought between the three times. Uh, then thought in reverse. Or maybe it would even be a glass rose. And these are all keys that open Updated these doors. my journal. Yes! Your teeth start chattering. She clenches her mouth cold and squints her eyes. Y yes! Can't leave. Can't leave. How'd you Updated get here? My journal. From, uh, came from a place else from here, almost a life to, ago. Hummed a tune by a glade with two dead trees that had fallen together. Brilliant door opened in the space between the cross trees. Showed me the city on the other side. I had stepped through, ended here. Why can't you go back? Tried, she sobbed again, but no tears got. Tried, all doors lead, here lead to other places. She shudders and grips her melted right hand. Went through the tri ten portals, some a purpose, some a accident. None of them right. Can't find my way back. There must be a portal to take you back. Can't even leave here. The square and there, the place dead behind the gates waits for thee. She points to the mortuary behind the gate, then turns back to your face bed. Can't go anywhere in this city. Can't go anywhere? What do you mean? Anything could be a door. Any arch there, any door here could be a portal. Don't know the key, could get sent to the other horrible place. Teeth start chattering again. Gotta stay away from the closed spaces. All could be doors. All could be a key on me, I'm not knowing it. You're you're afraid to go through any door, Arch, because it might be a portal? She nods, her teeth chattering. How long have you been afraid of this? Since the last time I walked through the portal, the place where my hand... Since my tenth turn in, I am in me fourth, tenth turn in that now. Her teeth begin chattering again. 30 years? You haven't walked through any door in 30 years? 
Her vision seems to be clearing up. She looks to her teeth still chattering. Um, oh, well, we just saved, so... If you got here, there must be a portal to take him back. It's only a matter of finding it. She smiles. Teeth aren't chattering because she's cold. They're moving around inside her teeth. Her gums twisting as the teeth shift about. They rise and recede as you watch, clattering as they rattle against each other. What? Hisses at you. Only it takes one portal to step through an accident to drive fear into you. I went through thrice teen, lost my hand, burned my flesh, lost my senses. No more, no more. I'm sorry. If I can find some means to help you, I will. Updated Farewell. my journal. That was a lot of journal entries. Find a way to help Ingress. Mad, win, or mad woman named Ingress running around the hive mortuary, raven doors, keys. If I can find an experienced plane walker, perhaps I could guide her home. Um, Dustman Memorial outside. Yep. Find the Chaos Men. Find Craddock the Bar or for Baron the Sender. Okay. The Post. Filthy looking corpse is in sad shape. Its shoulders are slumped and one of the legs is broken, causing it to lean to one side. Stains cover it from head to toe. Judging from the smell and the texture, the stains run the f uh, from rotten fruit to mud and bird droppings. Add the... In Indignity graffiti has been carved into his body and several notices have been nailed to its chest, back, and head. I thought I was in bad shape. Don't all those nails hurt? The corpse makes no response. Uh, let's examine. Despite many stitches, the corpse's rotting skin is peeling in several places, revealing long stretches of muscles and bones. You guess the zombie is frequently used as target practice. The fruit and mud stains aside, some of the tears and skins have rocks and bits of glass embedded into them. One wicked looking cobblestone is still embedded in the side of his head. Well, we can pry out the cobblestone. And we got 250 experience. And an item. Grab a hold of the cobblestone and pull it out of the corpse's head. Traces of brain matter and rotting flesh slowly drip out. Looks like whatever was in his head turned into ooze long ago. Well, let's examine the other notices. Number of leaflets have been uh, ruined by the rain, but some of them are still legible. One tacked to the back is something called the Office of Vermin and Disease Control. The one on his forehead looked like a bill of fare for a restaurant. One on his chest looked like an official notice. Another appears to be some sort of want ad. Hmm. Well, let's check the Office of Vermin and De Disease Control. To those hive citizens wishing to gain full employ with the most honorable and generous sig government inquire forthwith that office of vermin and disease control to help stem plague of brain rat bounties paid copper given for each rat tail brought tails must be genuine and from rat only no cat dog or fiend tail accepted office several streets south and west of mortuary gate and lower hive ask for official inspector in charge the respected Phineas T. Lort, uh, 39. Cool. Uh, interesting. Other notices? Um, well, what's the bill of fare? Some post bill of fare for the Gathering Dust Bar, but the bill of fare cannot be read. The word Smoldering Corpse Bar has been scratched in charcoal above the brim. Smoldering Corpse Bar? Zombie immediately jerks the left arm and points uh, to the southwest. A moment later, the arm falls back to the side with a thump. Southeast, eh? Reminds me of a job I once had. He seems embarrassed. Well, I mean, without the arms. I wonder if this would work with other notices. Um, official notice? Public notice. By order of the Judici Judiciary Council in accordance with the citizenry of Sigil, let it be known that those defacing a registered servant to the dustmen, either by graffiti, malicious attack, or by posting notice, will continuate felonious assault and the perpetrator will be answerable for the vandalism of said servant. By order of the halls of speakers. Um, yeah. People are really, um, paying this one heed. Um... 
What's the one ad? Wanted, able-bodied person willing to investigate a matter of the utmost importance of the dustman cause. Will offer suitable compensation upon successful completion of said task. Interested parties inquire with initiate Norwich, uh, gathering dust to bar. Gathering dust to bar? Zombie immediately jerks his left arm upward and points west to the building before you. A moment later, the arm falls back down with a thump. Uh, examine the corpse. Northern notice examine the graffiti. Graffiti runs from obscenities about dustmen to slogans glorifying what uh, will appear to be local gangs. One piece of graffiti catches your eye. Someone has carved the name Farad in the corpse's left arm and then slashed an X across it. Huh. Farad. My journal. Zombie immediately jerks his left arm upward and points to the west and downwards. A moment later, the arm falls back to the side with his thump. Hmm. Thanks. Looks like my skills have increased. up. That they have. Like you can definitely level up. Uh, saving throws improved. Fighting skills improved. Uh, ten hit points gained. Nice. Two hit points gained from constitution bonuses. All good. Um. Yeah, it'd probably be good if we have at least uh, one fighter level. Well, we'll probably get a lot more later, but... Uh, fighting skills improved, uh, saving throws, one characteristic point gained, ten hit points gained. We now have 31 hit points and ten armor class. And one point to toss into this. Um... More wisdom, the more experience points, which is not a bad thing because I don't think the game levels with you. So, half tempted to tump or er, toss more into wisdom. Although, extra dex is not a bad thing either. Neither is more. Of that constitution is uh yeah I've never been big on giving my characters a high con. Um more dialogue options, okay. Good is done. Done. Well, let's check out. Chief, what are we doing in here? Let's say we just give this place the laugh, all right? Um, Dustman. Norichi. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's, um. LP07. Didn't we hear about you? Pindle Thin Dustman, uh, Dirty Black Rose, Stiff Black here, blah blah, frowning into his drink and mumbling himself. Greetings! Dustman looks up, blinks once, looks uh, to you and down, takes one of his spiked locks and points himself with it. Norachi, Initiate, Dustman, Guard. Hear about the posting outside. Many troubles have I. Help can you? Mausoleum awakes. The dead walk. The dead disturbed, and the dustmen disturbed. Find out what disturbs the undead. Copper coins will I pay. Alright, where's the Updated mausoleum? My journal. Mausoleum by Dustman Memorial. Go north and west from Black Monument. Go to arch and semicircle over your heart with the finger of the snake. Wiggles the index finger of his right hand. To mausoleum. Go you will. Well, I'll look into it. So he gave us a sign to enter the mausoleum. And your name is Awaiting Death. Young Dustman, Dustman with stubble on his chin and dark circles beneath the eyes, staring at the wall with a somber expression. Greetings. Dustman doesn't look up, stares straight ahead as if he's seeing something several leagues beyond the walls of the bar. Can I ask you some questions? Dustman doesn't respond, keeps staring into the middle distance. Alrighty then. Let's go, Chief. This Dusty might as well be fertilizer. Fair enough. Turn to leave, Dustman suddenly speaks, his voice barely a murmur. You have to strain to hear the words. I think he said something about wanting to die. 
What'd you say? Why's well, expression did not flicker? Do you want to die? Uh. I don't really know. Do you want to die? Yes. Why do you want to die? This existence. This existence is a mockery of life. I do not wish to continue the charade any longer. His face wrinkles in disgust. Why would anyone wish to remain in this foul city in the center of a multiverse that feeds on pain and hatred? Death is silent. Comforting. Okay. Um, let's see. Is this some place that we really have to worry about? No, I'm not seeing any in my uh, walkthrough. Uh, that's a bleak outlook. There's a lot more to life than pain and hatred. This is living? He bares his teeth, his hands clench. This existence, this existence is a mockery of life. I wish to continue the charade any longer. Death is silent, comforting. Uh. Trust me, it's not. I've died often enough. Um, I'm just gonna say, see ya. I don't wanna say anything too terrible. All right. Hmm. Oh, Gravesend. Tiny wizened uh, man is dwarfed by his huge dustman robes. Looks as if they were chosen to cloak the small stature. Though it looks like he's in his late 90s. This man is extremely energetic. He fidgets continuously and his eyes dart around the bar like a bird. Greetings. Man's eye seems to glean as he takes your measure. Gives you a slight nodding. Hail and well met, traveler. You look like one who's getting uh, their sigil legs about them. Trails up. Pardon me, have we met before? face seems familiar somehow. Uh, possibly. Are you certain it was me? Mm, maybe I was mistaken. Mordory shakes his head. Well, no matter. How is it that Mordory Graves I make can hel uh, help you? Do you seek? He clicks his tongue to speak. The contract, uh, perhaps? Contract? Contract? I bet a simple transaction. From the depths of his huge robe, Mordory pulls forth the dusty parchment from a and a quill pen. I give you 50 commons in return. After death, the Dustman faction may claim your remains. What do you s will you have them at that point anyway? Um. Hmm. And I do have some questions, though. Um. Of course, of course. It would be my pleasure to answer any question you might have. I'm searching for a man named Farad. Have you seen him? He's one of those collectors, isn't he? I know little of him. I think Initiate Emmerich mentioned him in passing. Emmerich should be around here in the bar someplace. He should be found in the far corner at the head table, I believe. Okay. Um. Had some other questions. Um, tell me about the contract again. And what does Dustman do with my body? What does it matter? It's no consequence when you pass on. Um, well, it matters to me. Well, if you must know, oftentimes nothing's done with the body. It's we, the Dustman, who have wasted all the money. More fools us. <laughs> But rarely there are times when the workers in the mortuary need to be replaced, and then, well, then we might have a need for your body. You mean I'll be animated as a corpse and put to work in a mortuary? Well, that doesn't sound good. Ah, oh, no harm done and no pain. Mortuary raises fingers up to emphasize the point. There's no danger. In exchange for money you spend in this life, you merely have to give up something that you will have no need for uh, once you've died. Sign the contract myself, you must know. I have no need of my body after I pass on. 
Mm. Well, I'll consider it. Other questions? Um, well, I think um, we're going to call this a video since it's already at 20. Um, and when we come back, we're going to talk more with Gravesend here. Have a good one, folks.